What's up guys, TechFlash here and today we are going to talk about the latest operating system from Huawei called the Harmony OS. Now we were thinking that this operating system will be called as Hongmang OS or Arc OS but Huawei surprised us all and the final name for this operating system has been Harmony OS. Another major change from what we were seeing with this operating system has been the fact that everyone was expecting this operating system to be an Android replacement. People were thinking that this operating system will be based on open source variant of Android and will run Android applications but this is an entirely different operating system and it is not even going to compete with Android because the target for Huawei is Fuchsia OS which is in development by Google and we really don't know anything about Fuchsia OS but recently when Huawei took their veil off from their Harmony operating system, we got some news about the Fuchsia OS as well because Huawei was straight up comparing their operating system with the Fuchsia from Google. Now the basic difference between Fuchsia uh, and the Android operating system or even the Huawei's operating system and Android operating system is the fact that when you talk about Android, Android is based on Linux kernel just like any other operating system in this world. So if you talk about Windows, it also utilizes Linux kernel or if you talk about Mac OS, it also utilizes an older version of Linux kernel which was separated from Linux a very long time ago. So in theory, this is going to be an entirely different type of operating system and the biggest change between Android and Huawei's operating system is going to be the use of micro kernels. You see as 5G is approaching we are going to see more and more smart things and every single device in our lifestyle is going to be a 5G compatible smart device. So for all these devices we need different types of operating systems. Now before these devices we were very easily making uh, different operating systems for different type of devices. So for example if you want an operating system for your cell phone there was an operating system if you wanted an operating system for your laptop there was also an operating system but the problem is that right now we are seeing different types of devices which are uh, making new categories every single day so to make a single operating system for all these devices is a very tricky task and to do this Basically what Google and Huawei have done is the fact that they have divided the kernel into essentially different features so when a developer will be making any kind of software it will not be made for any kind of hardware like no developer will be selecting that his software should be run on this cell phone or his software should be run on laptop rather they would select what kind of hardware their software needs so for example if you are making a video call application you only need a camera and a screen so a developer would select those options and whenever any kind of device has a camera and a screen then it is capable of doing video calls so the same application would be running on any TV with a camera on any uh, hardware with a camera and a display and also on your cell phones and it will automatically adapt with the sizes of the display. This would not only allow flexibility when developers are making different applications but also allow you to use different types of hardware together as a single component. So right now if you have a laptop and a camera you can use both of these devices for different applications but with this operating system all these devices are going to function as a single unit so for example if you want to do a video call using your uh, laptop then your laptop webcam can be used but if you want to use the webcam or the main front camera on your cell phone but see the picture of the person on your laptop screen then it is also possible because this time around the whole operating system is going to function as a single unit which means that your cell phone and your laptop are essentially going to be working as a single pair and this time around it will also allow you to have different types of configuration. The example Huawei showed us in the keynote was a drone which was used as a selfie camera on a cell phone device and it was really great and really well done. Also they showed us a demo where a person was doing a video call on his cell phone and then uh, they transferred that video call to a different TV and they started doing the video call uh, from the TV 
and it was actually working on the cell phone but the display and camera was being used from the television itself now Huawei already announced that their first device for using this Harmony OS is going to be an honor device now we are not sure what this device is going to be but if we believe rumors then this device is going to be a smart TV from their sub brand honor also Huawei made it clear that this operating system is by no means a replacement for Android and if there is no problem for Huawei uh, to use Google's Android then they will rather use Google's Android for their cell phones instead of using their own operating system and you have to realize the fact that this operating system is made for the future so Huawei is relying on this operating system uh, for the time when Google launches their Fuchsia OS but right now they have no plans to uh, you know go away from Android or leave Android by any means now I want to know what are your opinions regarding the whole Huawei situation and also about their operating system personally frankly I'm really impressed what Huawei showed us today because this was not expected by anyone we were expecting an Android replacement but Huawei is targeting straight up Google and their Fuchsia OS I will wait for your comments in the comment section down below and if you are new to the channel do subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one